So what we're going to be testing today is our regulator rectifier. Um, I was riding along on my bike, speedo uh, went dead at one point and then the bike just continued to sort of uh, drain battery and basically conked out in the end so I replaced the battery within two days obviously as it wasn't charging um, I stopped the bike, tried starting it again and it wouldn't start so um, check the stator or stator generator um, I'll show you how I've done that later but I'm just going to check the regulator rectifier and just show you how how I worked out that this was faulty so this is the um, this is the faulty one I have actually got a brand new one exactly the same but I'll show you the difference between the two so you need one of these testers got different settings for your voltage your ohms diode test don't know too much about it but again I've sort of learned what I've learned from YouTube videos so to test our regulator rectifier it needs to be on diode so that's that funny little arrow there with a line through it so make sure it's on that my reading always comes up one for some reason but it will change in a minute so now what I want to do is obviously test this out so oh that's a new one so we'll get our old one back so as I said don't know much about it but I do know that these three here are the feeds from the stator generator one then goes back to the battery and I assume one's a ground so what do we do so all we did with this is first we take our negative and just put it on to our what would be our live feed on our plug probably got this wrong but test result should be the same regardless what you do so it's just a case of holding that on there and then testing or seeing if there's any sort of reading on the meter so oh, that's on there so what we've actually got you can see the meter in the background 725 so I think all you're really after is here is a bit of consistency so 725 so go along to the next one 727 720 so that's all about the same so I figured that's okay ish then we go on to this one I think this will bring back a negative for everything so nothing one mm, one so it's standard it's a bit weird that one does that maybe that's showing up a, a four already so done that way round so now we swap them over Same thing again, so you just move out of the way so you can see that meter in the background. So nothing, nothing, nothing. Then zero, five, seven, eight. six eight three so this is where I've got a zero reading here so this is where I believe my fault is and I pretty much know how I got to get in this fault as well I've redesigned the back end of my motorbike and I've encased this under the seat so the rectifier sits under in a con enclosed environment now and these are prone to sort of overheating they need to be 
getting air through those fins that's the whole idea for it they do get hot there is a bit of foam under my seat it's actually melted so I know it gets hot so that will be the cause so just to double check that so we've gone back there we've got a negative reading on one of those so just get the new regulator rectifier and hopefully this is going to be different so this would then mean hopefully that that's worked so again then got our test our three so nothing nothing and nothing swap that over then 553 557 559 so that's all around the same area we've got 550s for those let's swap them over see if we get anything on there So 570, 549, 559, sort that over, should be a nothing, a nothing and a nothing. So on our previous, on our other stator, just go back to that, so we're getting a Nothing, nothing, nothing. And the reading, reading, reading. So let's check the same thing back on our previous regulator or rectifier. So We've got six, eight, five, seven, and that was our what we believe our fault.